Hey everybody, welcome back. I wanted to share a really good recipe with you. I made this the other day over, did a lot of cooking over weekend meal prep, working two jobs, 10, 11 hours a day, five days a week, Monday through Friday. So I get stuck usually doing my grocery shopping and my cooking on Saturday and Sundays. I made this on Sunday. This is called Chicken a la King, real good chicken dish. And what you do is you, you make a roux, you melt butter, you add in some chopped red pepper. I'll put the recipe below if anybody's interested in the description. If anybody's interested, just let me know in the comments. So I melt the butter, I stir in a chopped red pepper, and then I make the roux. I add the flour, equal amount of flour in for a thickening agent to thicken the sauce up, the gravy up. I add the flour in, all-purpose flour, to make the roux. And with that, I also throw in a little bit of chicken base. And then I add in the milk and the peas. And you can use chicken thigh. I use boneless, skinless chicken breast for this. My aunt actually makes this too. And what she does is she uses like a whole chicken. And I think she might, uh, I'm not sure. I know she cuts up the, she uses all of the chicken in her chicken all king. You get a mix of white meat, dark meat. I think she also might use some of the juices from the chicken too to put in the sauce. I'm not sure of that. But anyway, getting back to it. So then you just real slowly heat it up. You don't want to boil it because it could cause the sauce to break or over like low, medium heat. And you're stirring it constantly until it reaches its full thickness. And as far as serving, I made homemade, I was looking for Pepperidge Farm puff pastry shells. Uh, that's my favorite way to serve this, serve it in the pastry shell. I couldn't find those. So I just made homemade popovers. There's a number of ways you could serve this. You could just serve this plain. Some people just serve this over toast. I really don't like it that way because the toast, even if you get really crispy, it gets soggy real fast. But you could also, I know in high school, um, they had this a lot and they used to serve it over a pasta, just over egg noodles. You could serve it over any kind of pasta you want. Over, I've seen it served over rice. And... Uh, yeah, I usually do either homemade popovers, which I made. That's a whole nother video, whole nother recipe. I made homemade popovers. Or you could do it over puff pastry shells. Um, number, there you could even do this. Maybe you could even put this over mashed potatoes if you want. I've never heard or see it that way. It doesn't sound like such a bad idea. So, yeah, let me know if you want the recipe. I'll put it in the description in the comments. So, comment, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you all real soon with another video. Have a great rest of your week, everybody. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.